This is going to be a short video of integrating Atlassian Jira and IBM towards next generation. More specifically, we're going to see a project on Doors Next Generation that is organized in various different folders and then a certain section of my mobile application folder will be containing my user stories that are being sent over to Jira. Now, in the demonstration, you're going to be seeing uh, type elaborated user stories being used, but in this scenario, you could be substituting it with really any type of um, artifact from Doors Next Generation side. So even if I'm saying requirement, it can be a user story, it can be a custom type. Um, it is up to you and your workflows. We're going to see this requirement then being sent over to Jira as a user story. And from a development perspective, we're going to be seeing some subtasks being created against that user story. So essentially the story being broken down. And we'll also see some various attributes flowing back and forth as well as status updates for latest up-to-date status. So let's get to it. All right, so here we have my uh, RDNG project with a certain outline of folders and I'm just working with user story elaboration from one of the folders. In your scenario, you could be using the whole project, multiple folders. Really, it's up to you from a process perspective where do these items come from. But I have a list of user stories here created that will be uh, sent over to Jira. And we're going to create a sample one just for the sake of the demonstration here. So we're going to call it user story elaboration and I'm just going to call it demo user story elaboration so that we can easily recognize it. Now, as I see it on this list at this, at this point, the integration has um, picked up the particular work item and is, has synced it over to Jira. Now, a couple of things that I, we can already know um, have been done by the integration if I refresh on this side. So here we see that a couple of things have already happened. So my demo user story on the bottom here has now its development status reported back from Jira as to do. And also we have a link, a live link to our Jira item um, straight from our DNG user story here. So if I now go on and click this URL, then I will open up that particular user story within Jira. So a couple of similar things from this side is we can see that this backlinking works uh, both ways. Um, further, if we wanted to synchronize more than just uh, the base attributes over to Jira, we could add some more uh, text here. So I'm right now so if you wanted to send a little more information over than just the title, uh, we could add some more details here with some rich text as well. So um, it is up to you to decide which one of those pieces go over. So we could also have our priority being sent over. So this is really up to you to decide what aspects of the requirement or the user story, whatever work item we're working with, would go over to the other side. So now if we jump back into our JIRA item here, and refresh it on JIRA side, then we'll see that our description and additional details have come over, our priority has come over. So really whatever information is necessary on the development site, you can send it over. Now as the next step, I'm just going to say that I'm going to start work on this particular work item and I'm going to create a couple um, subtasks for it.
So really the idea here is that whatever information you desire to send back to um, our DNG, um, you can send it back. For example, uh, we want to know when status is updated, what's the uh, latest progress on this particular um, user story from development side, as well as uh, what are the tasks this particular uh, user story has been broken down in. So if we move back over to um, our DNG, and I refresh my view uh, here, see a couple of things have changed. So first, a couple of things have changed here. So first of all, um, we have our updated development status sent back to our DNG so that our requirement management teams can know the latest status on it. And we also can see that it's been elaborated by two subtasks. So this is the subtasks themselves really won't ever live in DNG, but you do want to know that they're being worked on and that the user story is being broken down in these subtasks. So you can have this link um, straight to the subtasks. Um, you could go more advanced with this particular feature and um, collect things like status and information off of the subtasks and send it back. However, on a basic level, um, you can see that the user story has been elaborated. Now that was to show some basic synchronization between the two sides and integrating our DNG and JIRA. This is the use case that we just looked at between our IBM DNG and JIRA. You could do a note that from, from a demonstration perspective we were looking at user stories in DNG side and user stories on JIRA side but you could really make this a lot more complex and a lot more add more context to the artifacts that are flowing back and forth so if you had multiple levels of items and different types of issues in JIRA you could also um, take advantage of that. That was a short demonstration of integrating IBM DNG and JIRA. For more information please visit TaskLab.com.